Good afternoon and welcome to Rooftop Trombone in the Age of COVID-19, day number 227. Wow, my screen just flashed. It's still there though. Welcome. My name is Don Bowyer. I am the Dean of the School of Arts at Sunway University, right over there in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where we are on day number 27 of our second round of well, it's not a complete lockdown this time like it was back in March, but it's a, uh, a bit of a lockdown and we're making do, we're getting by, we're, we're going to break the back of this second curve. Um, you know, um, what is this, 27, so about five weeks ago, we were averaging less than 10 new virus cases every day, less than 10, and then unfortunately uh, things went kerfluey and we're now average. This is nationwide, by the way, nationwide less than 10, and we're now uh, hundreds uh, every day. But uh, in a country of 30 million, it's still, we're still doing relatively well on a, on a global curve. If you, if you, we're trying to flatten the curve, but if you grade on a curve, we're doing okay. Anyway, I'm just talking nonsense now, um, for which my wife, the lovely Donna, will give me a hard time later and well deserved I might add. So no more nonsense talk. I'm a trombone player. I'm here to play trombone for you tonight. But as you know if you've been watching you know, during this version 2 of Rooftop Trombone, I'm trying to do uh, my trombone, use my trombone to comment a la Charlie Brown's teacher on other art forms. And the ones that I've used primarily are poetry or images. And you the public who tune into this, whether intentionally or not, um, submit photos and submit poets, poems, and uh, that's how this goes around. So in order for this to continue, you've got to send some or both, uh, one or both of those to me. Pick up your phone right now and send me the uh, five different images from your camera roll. As long as they're family friendly, I'll use them. Um, and if you happen to write poetry, send some one of your poems. Or if you don't write poetry, that's okay. If you have a favorite poem that's now public domain, i.e. almost 100 years old or older, then send that and we'll do it. Tonight, tonight we're going to do, I'm going to do, I guess I'm alone here. Tonight I'm going to do, uh, uh, use a poem that was sent by, um, by a friend, uh, I'm gonna get, here we go, Improvisatory Poetry number 12 tonight, that's right, a poem sent by a friend named Julia who, uh, who uh, it's a very short poem, but um, she's a musician by the way, piano player, wonderful piano player. Um, she sent a very short poem that is very flattering, but also fun to play with, and so I'm going to actually insert myself in between every, it's only four lines, the whole poem. But I'm going to insert, my, insert myself before and after each line. So please uh, enjoy. The title is... Uh, I forget the title. The title is Rooftop Trombone. Every morning, I have my coffee. <laughs> to the sounds of a trombone. Even though the world stands still, I still have hope. Thank you.
Thank you. That's Rooftop Trombone by Julia Morchikova. Thank you so much, Julia, for sending that in. You too, who, whomever you are, can uh, send me a poem and or and or a photograph. Send several photographs. We'll do uh, ten photos tomorrow night, unless unless some bolt of lightning strikes me and I come up with an even stronger idea. But I have uh, I have a couple dozen photos still in the hopper, and we'll pick ten of those for tomorrow night. But you know, two more nights, and I'm going to be short. So send your photos in, please. Okay, thanks, that's all. And by the way, where would you send them? Funny you should ask. Send them to rooftoptrombone at gmail.com. My voice is changing this week, sorry. Uh, rooftoptrombone at gmail.com. It's right there on the screen. If you, don't, if you aren't fast enough, you can always rewind and watch this again. And get that address, rooftoptrombone at gmail.com. I hope you send me something. I'm going to head inside now before the mosquitoes carry me away. Thanks. Bye.